Woo -hoo. You know it's cold when your glasses fog up in an intersection and freeze over. <laughs> hey, good morning, folks. Grateful to be on the ride with you this morning. The pond is gorgeous this morning. Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. Coming to you from Boise, Idaho. <laughs> it is 26 degrees. Oh, I can't get my phone back in my pocket because I can't get my gloves on. All right. Oh. Okay, so this is the first legitimately cold day. I don't know that I've got my systems down. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't because I'm really chilly. Although, I'm not sweating and that's super important because then you get the hyper... hyper... the hydrophobia. <laughs> the whatever you get. Hypothermia. For crying out loud, Jeffrey. <laughs> you want to do that again? <laughs> that felt uneven to you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. I am Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride, pedal-powered podcast. Look, folks, I don't know nothing. These are not sermons by any means. Just uh, me talking through how I'm working to become a filmmaker, evolve as a filmmaker, poet, and human being. And I am grateful to be here with you this morning. Man, it is cold. I don't remember what the temperature breaks are. Like, you know... I know that above 32, I don't worry too much. My everyday gloves, you know, my like light gloves work. But like, how many layers do you put on underneath it? Like 32 versus 26 versus 20. Yeah, that one takes a while. And you just gotta figure it out for yourself every year. For those of you who are trying to commute all winter and you live in a place that gets below freezing, you gotta figure all that out. And the great thing is, is that if you don't get it right today, <laughs> You'll get it right the next time. <laughs> the biggest thing is to, uh, you, don't want, you don't want to sweat too much and get wet because that's when you'll get chills and really do, you, you really can get into some trouble there. Speaking out of, of staying out of trouble, I have been uh, working on this bike trailer. I'm calling it the grip trailer because in uh, filmmaking, a grip truck is the truck that holds all the electrical and lighting gear. <coughs> Excuse me, that was right into the microphone, wasn't it? And the last two winters have been doing a lot of work with Boise Bicycle Project, video and photography stuff, and, and it rains a lot in the fall and winter here, or snows, there's precipitation. And so I haven't been able to get my camera gear around on my bike because uh, like my tripods aren't waterproof. My other gear is fairly waterproof, but you know, with my nicer gear, I don't want to take the lighting stands and all that. Don't want to get in wet. So I've been working on this bicycle trailer and uh, I'm very excited. I think the overall construction and mounting to, like I found this old burly bicycle trailer at BBP, Boise Bicycle Project, for 30 bucks. It needed new tires on it. So Cooper, I cannibalized your bike. Sorry, dude. When you come back to Boise to ride with us, we'll put your bike back together. But I did uh, take the tires off of Cooper's bike, what I call the Cooper 20. A little BMX bike that Oliver Bicycle Works built for him. And uh, put those on. Uh, I had to put a kickstand on the Hukui commuter though and I got this double kick stand, but it's too short. I mean, like, it is so short. I don't know what kind of bike that would even work with. Like, you'd have to have a really short bottom bracket for that to even work. So, uh, gotta take that back to the Cycle Learning Center on campus. They're awesome. We've got a bike shop on campus. They do all kinds of cool stuff. Gabe over there is an awesome dude. That was ice. That was a puddle of ice. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for this. It's just like October, mid-October, not even mid-October yet. You know what mid-October is though. 
It's the birthday of someone very, very dear to me. Oh my gosh, I think we're about to have a great view of the river here, aren't we? Look at that, so beautiful this morning. So anyway, I got the, uh, my back wheel off my mountain bike, got that, uh, <laughs> that kickstand installed, realized it was too small, and then I went to air up my tire because my brakes are funky. I need to readjust my, my back brakes on my bike because I have to deflate the tire to take it off. Shouldn't have to do that. It's a maintenance issue. It's my issue. I know. I will, I will carry that burden myself. <laughs> it's all my fault. I know. Basically, though, what happened was uh, our pump, the nozzle, is dead. So I wasn't able to air up my tire. So the last two things that I have to do is air up the two tires and then test the trailer and air up the tires on my Hukui commuter. So I'm hoping that I can find a new pump head today um, that works. They're replaceable, supposedly, but that's an old pump, so I don't know how replaceable it is. Hey, folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle, whatever your bike ride is. I hope that you have a chance to get out there this morning, get out there this weekend. Hope you have a great weekend. And I am looking forward to seeing you on Monday. Thanks for riding me with this riding with me this morning. It's the only ride we get, folks.